Uh, hello everyone, today I'll be going through the Math Methods Unit 1 and 2 mini quiz for week 7. So this worksheet is just some an, uh, basic anti differentiation. And all right, cool, let's get into it then. So for the first two questions, I think it's best to write the um, every term in the power form. So for example, 2 on root x is the same as 2 times x to the power of negative a half, etc. So after we do that for every single term, we can now start anti differentiating. So First of all, we know that the anti-differentiated form must be one greater than the current power, right? So for example, we take the first term, two to the power of negative a half. Uh, we know that it's anti-differentiated form must be something times two times x to the power of a half. And we know that uh, a half times something equals to two. Therefore, the something must be four, and therefore we know it's four x to the power of a half. So by the same logic, negative two plus one is negative one, and we know that negative one times something is three, and that something must be negative three. And that's how we work out the coefficient of every single term here. And don't forget the plus here at the end. So question two, there's only one step extra is to separate the fraction. So we just, um, yeah, basically divide every single term in a numerator by the denominator, and we get the first step shown there. And the and this, uh, second step is the same logic. For example, for two x to the power of five on two, five on two uh, plus one is seven on two. And um, to get the term at the front, we just we just think um, what term times se seven on two is three on two, and that term is three on seven. And just as I said again, don't forget to plus C at the end. Question two, we need to find the antiderivative of the following. So first of all, we take the constant now. Then we know that this is just a, a log e to the power of two x plus one, and we know that we have to times it by the reciprocate. The reciprocal of the coefficient of x, therefore, is 10 times a, a half times log e of 2x plus 1 and um, plus c at the end, which gives us 5 log e 2x plus 1 plus c. Okay, so the final one tells us the gradient curve, and we want to find the actual function, right? So we know that, so theoretically, here I should be writing f of x, which the capital F just denotes the anti differentiated function is equal to the anti derivative of this, right? And after doing the antiderivative, so for example, the antiderivative cosine two x is half sine two x because we need the half at the front because if we derive sine two x, it becomes two cosine of two x, so the half is there to cancel out the two. And the same logic for negative sine of two x, which became a half cosine of two x. And um, yeah, don't forget the plus c at the end. Now and then to get the c value, we're just stopping the point which is pi and two. So we're putting two as the y value, pi as the x value. And we add C, and then to solve for C, C we get is three on two. So the final equation is Y is equal to a half of sine of two X plus cosine of two X plus three on two. Hopefully that's all good. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Other than that, I'll see you next week.